Hey lovelies and welcome back to the channel. My name is Omotola. If you are new here, you are welcome. Please consider subscribing and remember to click on the bell notification icon. That way you get notified every single time I upload a new video which is at least once every week. So welcome to 2023 and thank you to 19,000 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, I hope that this new year brings you many more um, blessings and prosperities and you, you achieve better and greater things this year all right so we are starting off with a grocery haul and for those of you who follow me for this kind of content this is our january shopping and these are the things that we've gotten from two stores only that is what we're doing for this month we're only shopping at two stores and we've gone to farm foods and um an african store or like a afro-caribbean kind of store they also do pakistan Uzbekistanish kind of dishes and that is where we have been getting some of our african food um here in darlington all right so without too much chit chat let's get into what we um bought for this month so far the budget was around 330 pounds because why things don't cost and it's kind of a huge um haul because we needed to restock quite a number of things but yeah let's get into it so if i am able to i will show you the price of each and every single item but that just takes a long longer time to edit but the total budget was 330 pounds and we got this big bag of um british potatoes which are basically like irish potatoes but they, this one just hold their structure a lot better they are good for baking and frying and they also boil well so we got 7.5 kg of that we got a bag of onions this whole thing was about two pound and change a box of indomie onions if you know you know this is the best kind of noodles <laughs> there is it gives the best flavor in my opinion all right so we also got this bag of garlic use a lot of garlic in my cooking um we also bought three packs of this buttered chicken nuggets and this three came in a combo for three pounds uh, three for ten pounds also got this tub of caramel salted caramel for about um two pound and change and then for in the feed farm in here we have um some we have some smoothie uh, items. I have this summer fruit. I have strawberries, raspberries, cranberries, blackberries, and um, raspberries, I think. So there's a combination of about five fruits in them. I got two packs of this. I got one of the mango. And yeah, so these three are for my smoothies. I also got a pack of this 30, 30 piece pork. So there's a sausage pork in here. Two bags of chicken wings if you followed me for my um, December um, sales uh, you saw where I was able to get some turkey on sale so we're just going to be mixing that with this chicken and some um, tripe that we still have in the freezer all right so I also got this bag of mixed vegetables two packs of this french fry style chips this too was about five pounds and then this huge bag of shrimp this goes into a furry roll spaghetti anything this goes for anything and this whole bag was about 19 pounds 99 actually i used to buy this for 19 pounds but now it has gone up to 19.99 which is basically 20 pounds i also picked up this jar of hot dogs this jar was so cheap this whole thing was 99 pence so i bought two of that two of that and then there's this um passata sauce this is the garlic and basil one this one i use in basically anything i can even use this as a base for jello fries i've tried that before and it actually went well so this goes into our pasta dishes it also goes as a base for our pizzas it is very versatile and i think it's a very good item to have like in the pantry if you're just looking to make something quickly you can blend this and some habanero peppers and you have blended pepper you can make stew or sauces with that so it's very good i like the the blend and how it comes out so this um summer fruit blend is what i'm going to be using to blend my 
smoothies although i know that i'm going to have crowd on it but i don't mind i also got a jar of chocolate spread the boys usually have this with toast we also picked up um custard powder from the afro-caribbean store and this was one pound 59 for this 500 grams also picked up some dark soy sauce because i'm looking to get back into my stir fries and more veggies less carbs kind of balancing my fruits um, sort of thing um we also have some garlic mayo and this is the smooth and creamy one this one goes very well with sandwiches um salad sauces you can mix this with virtually almost everything some mayonnaise and this is the hellman's one i always get this one i like the taste i'm used to it from south africa uh this is hen's tomato ketchup this whole tub if you leave it to my children they will finish this in a week as big as it is and this is not a, the small one this is like the one kg this is the 1.3 this is 1.35 kg and it goes by really quickly we also got this um, strawberry milkshake mix this goes into their milkshakes i also intend to leave a cup of that into my smoothies as well to just amp, amp the flavor um some chocolate um topping for ice cream and things crepes pancakes whatever um some salad cream and this goes on our salad it goes without saying um hot chocolate this is the Cadbury one it's not as sweet as the ones we get in aldi but it goes a long way seeing as it's a big jar this one lasts it can last up to a month and a half or a month and a couple of weeks um we got some little pink apples i always get these um type of apples when i go to farm food and these these were a pound and change and the green apples the green apples were a pound each so these are the granny smith apples and although they are baking apples they also my, my children also love to eat them, although I would have loved to get the sweeter kind, but this one is also good. We also got two bunches of bananas. My husband picked this one up. Um, I also intend to put this in my smoothie if there's any left because it doesn't, it doesn't last long. All right, so we also have some wafers for snacks for the boys. So we have four packs of vanilla and chocolate, two packs of that each. We have some scent beads and they, I put this in laundry to just amp the smell and it helps with the texture of the fabric as well. So the clothes don't come out dry and harsh feeling kind of. It just makes the clothes look nice. I feel nice. I smell nice. Anyway, so we have this um, bottle of granuts. I was going to pick this one up. This thing also flies. It doesn't last long. Um, a box of Redox. This is the feel awake um, scent. I've used this before. I love how it smells. Um, so I use this and the boys use it as well. Um, this is the palm oil we found at the Afro-Caribbean store. I am very skeptical that this will not be anything like the Mama Africa that I'm used to buying from um, the African store we go to at, at uh, Middlesbrough. But this is what I have and I don't have a single drop of palm oil. I cannot be without palm oil, so I need to get. I needed to get this. I don't know what kind of <clears throat> mess is going to be inside here, but it's not looking like the palm oil that I know. But this is, and that's the price. So that's that's what we're doing for this month. Um, for cereal, yes, we're back on cereal. Um, I just I couldn't sustain it. We're back on cereal, so uh, we have this cocoa dragon shells we also have the cocoa pops and there's two bags two bags of this and it lasts a very long time um we also have a box of rice krispies and a box of cheerios which the boys actually absolutely love so these three one two three came in a combo of three for 11 pounds so that brings it all down to about three pounds and change for each box and then this one because it was two in one it was four pounds something for this one which is fairly it's a fairly good deal for me also picked up a bag of um, refuse sacks this is for garbage and things also um, some baking paper for baking 
and also I use this in my air fryer as well although I got a bag or I got this from Shein I don't know if anyone has seen this but this also does the job in the air fryer and I find that it's the right size for for my air fryer so this just goes in the base of my air fryer and it collects all the grease and grime it saves me a lot when it comes to clean up for the air fryer but this one also works if you cannot find this on Shein I'll try to find the link and put it down in the description box of this video so this is for baking and air fryer um this is a not uh, seasoning cubes and this was two pound 49 which is basically two pound 50. we also picked up some garlic powder i love to have this in meat stews uh, to boil meat and whatever i also needed some thyme i picked that one up as well now this taste is these three came in a combo of three for two pounds which was a deal that we always get at um, farm food so picked up three of that three of these custard creams for two pounds and three of the bourbons as well for three pounds so that's going to go a long way for the month and then picked up some kitchen towels these ones are scented and it just keeps my kitchen f smelling fresh i have the last one over there and yeah it goes a long way so it has it, it kind of does two jobs for me it's very absorbent and then it leaves a fresh uh, it leaves a scent of um, citrus in the kitchen although it doesn't last long but at least you get the point of what i'm saying all right so we have two um sachets of spaghetti the boys absolutely love spaghetti so that is what i'm going to be pairing with with these and all i have to do is just make a base of um habanero peppers onions and a little um red bell peppers and i'm good to go please ignore the mess in the sink we also picked up two boxes of caprizone this is the orange and the tropical one um this is almost a staple in every month grocery that we get um we also picked up some oreos and some chocolate flavored biscuits um this is a bag of dried chilies i couldn't find the fresh one at the afro caribbean store i couldn't find the fresh one at the afro caribbean store so this dry one will do all you have to do is rehydrate it in some hot water about 10 to 15 minutes before you cook with it it blends well it gives your soup and stew structure it's very versatile you can even blend some up and keep it as dry pepper so that's what i tend to do so i picked up a whole lot of that and i think this was about was about two pound and change for this whole lot so yeah um this is a slab or this is a root of garlic sorry this is ginger and i picked this up at the afro-caribbean store as well also we have this roasted coffee and there's about 24 in this so this is the extra large bag <clears throat> we also picked up some ijebu gari from the afro-caribbean store and this was three pound 49 which is basically three pound 50 for 1.5 kg of gari um plantains i can't remember how much these plantains were but they were not up to six pounds so there's four seven that seven of that and it was less than six pounds um so we have a three packs of this um peppers i call them shombo but i don't know what they call them here though. this is like shombo this is the paprika pepper it doesn't have spice it's just for color and body for my soup and then we have a lot of habanero pepper if you know me i love to have a lot of spice in my food so there is a lot of that a lot of that and this should take us more than this january and um, we also picked up some okra so we have this on its own we also have this as elastic which is okra stew you can choose to put some seafood in that and make seafood okra 
and then i also picked up two bunches of parsley uh, this goes into our pastas and other soups and sauces also as a garnish um i want to start cooking a lot more with parsley i really read i did some reading on parsley and i just want to start cooking a lot more with them and then we have four crates of this crate of eggs and there's 15 in each crate and this is going to last us beyond the month we also got this crate of tomatoes and this is going to last us well over a month and this box was 10 pounds this one was expensive the red bell peppers um half of this box the whole box was 27 pounds and half of that came to about 15 pounds or 16 pounds thereabouts and i'm not very happy with that it's it's quite expensive but that was the price we met um also we picked up this huge bottle this is the 10 liters of vegetable oil oil <laughs> my urbanus is showing we also picked up this um 10 kg vegetable oil and this lasts us for about three months when we buy this so i will need to buy this again until around april monthly shopping or maybe let's say late march but i still have some from um last shopping so this should last us well into april if i'm not mistaken all right and i don't do so much frying because obviously i have an air fryer so that takes away um the amount of oil that i have to use for frying so this one is basically for just cooking soup, soups and stews and things like that also at the Afri afro caribbean store we picked up a bag of yam flour and this is 4 kg for 13 pounds please anytime i see this 12.99 i don't like to deceive myself it's just 13 pounds so that's the amount we got that one um we had some honey beans and this was 16 pounds this is 15.99 so 16 pounds for 4 kg and it looks really clean it looks really really clean like i don't see so much dirt so much dirt in it so it looks like it's going to be all right and then we have this bag of pando yam and this is 27 pounds well 28 pounds for 8 kg i think the price is slightly more than what we usually get it for but it's 8 kg and I don't want to have to be moving around a lot so you guys that is the entire haul for what we got it's quite a huge haul and they've been sitting out for quite a while i need to put the freezer items back where they belong um yeah so you guys it, that is it for this haul please let me know if you have further questions about things to get if you think this was a fairly good deal if you think we could have done better or if you get it a better rate somewhere else let me know in the comment section and yeah i will see you in the next one remember to like share subscribe do all of that good stuff and i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.